So looking at Wordle, we can see on the light theme here, we have a white background, we have the green and yellow, which we have working, and then we also have a light shade of gray and a dark shade of gray, and the heading font is black. So now let's set up this theme in our app. Let's create some colors which closely match the light gray and the dark gray that we just saw on the Wordle screen. And I'll name this light theme, light shade, and I've prefixed this with light theme because we'll also create a dark theme. And I'll set this color. So again, just using a color tool to get an approximation of the light gray. Cool, and then I'll create another const. So light theme again, and the start of the variable name, and this will be our dark shade. Okay, awesome, so we have our two constants set up. I will now go to the main. So we can use theme data to configure the overall look of this app. We can configure an app-wide theme, and also we can change parts of this app that we want. So there's a heap of different properties to do that. So if I press A, we can see that we can scroll through. So luckily in this project, we'll just need to access a couple. So first of all, let's look at the app bar. So we've got a blue app bar, which we don't want. We want to turn that to white. So to set the app bar, I can type app bar theme and use an app bar theme widget. And now I can set the background color, colors.white. And hot reload. And cool, we now have a white background, but obviously we can't see the text anymore. So I'll type T and use the title text style and use a text style widget. And now we can customize the font. So first of all, set the color to black cool so our titles reappeared and let's make that title a little bit bigger font size set that as 20 cool and we'll make the font a little bit thicker so font weight font weight dot bold awesome so we now have a thicker font next up let's look at the body now we have the green and yellow background so let's remove those I'll go to home page and we'll remove the yellow container you just remove that placeholder container and I'll remove this container here. And while we're here, I'll add a const modifier. Cool, so if we do a hot reload, all right, awesome, so we've got rid of that background. Now back in our main, let's change the background of the scaffold to pure white, so we can see it's a bit of an off-white there. And I'll apply a const here. And then down here, comma, scaffold background color, and I'll set that to white, hot reload, Okay, awesome, so now we have a pure white background. Taking another look at the Wordle screenshot, we can see there's a dividing line between the heading and the grid, so let's create that. So in our home page, here we can just use the divider widget, hot reload, and we can see a very faint divider. Let's make that a little bit thicker. Cool. And now let's also remove some of that spacing around it. So I can do that by using height and setting that at one. Awesome, and I'll add the const. Okay, cool, let's go back to our main. Now let's look at the text. I type in the text here. Let's make the text a little bit thicker. Now to amend the text theme, I'll type text theme, a text theme widget. And here I can use the copy with method to amend the current text theme rather than creating a new one from scratch. And in here, I want to update the default text, which is body text 2. So to update the default text, we actually use body text 2 and not body text 1. And then here I can use a text style and let's set the font weight to bold. Hot restart. Cool. So now we can see all of our font is now bold. Next up, let's update the colors on the keyboard and also the grid tiles. So when we tap a letter on the keyboard and it's not a correct letter, it should turn a dark gray. And same with these tiles. If the letter is not correct, we should have the tile turn gray. So first of all, here in theme data, I'm going to type in primary color light. And against this property, I'm going to use that constant we created earlier, which was light theme, light shade. 
and against primary color dark I'll write light theme dark shade and the good thing about that if we want to change this slightly we can just change it in one spot and it will update everywhere in the app. Now before we update the colors let's go to our controller and now let's also set the answer stage of the keys and the grid tiles to incorrect when they have not been answered correctly and we can do that by creating another loop so after all these conditions have run so I'm just going to copy this here paste this down here cut out this so now we can do one final loop and loop through all of our letters and if any of those have not been set as correct or contains then they must be incorrect so we can write if tiles entered at the index of i dot answer stage is still equal to answer stage dot not answered at that point in time it should be incorrect tiles entered answer stage dot answer stage is now set to incorrect so for the last five tiles we've already cycled through and we've checked all the ones that are correct or contains so the remaining tiles in that row must be incorrect and we can also do the same logic with the keys on the keyboard so we can write keys map update and the key tiles entered at the index of i dot letter so that'll look for that key and then assign the corresponding value to answer stage dot incorrect okay cool so this loop will now give us information about what tiles and what keys are incorrect so now let's update the tile colors first I'll go to tile and now down here we can create another else if else if answer stage is equal to answer stage dot incorrect then let's set the background color as equal to and now we want to grab that theme that we created up here in our main so grab this color that we've created up here so back in our tile to do that we will type theme of so we're grabbing the theme and now we can just select primary color dark so it's that easy now let's do a hot restart cool and now all those O's are now gray all right awesome now let's also do that on our keyboard so I'll click on keyboard and then here else e dot value is equal to answer stage dot incorrect the color should be set to theme of primary color dark and the reason we're accessing it through our theme here instead of just writing the constant straight in like we have with green and yellow is that because we'll have a light theme and a dark theme and therefore the value of this variable can change depending on whether it's light theme or a dark theme so we could write if statements everywhere saying if this is light theme then this should be this color or it should be this color but by using it as a theme it's much simpler we can just write this line here okay let's do a hot restart p i a a a cool and our keyboard has now updated too now let's also update the background of the keyboard so here we want to set this as theme of primary color light do a hot reload cool okay so that looks a lot better looking at the keys on the keyboard and the light theme we can see they start off as black but then when a key is tapped they change color so now let's also update our project to match that so first of all in the main I'm going to update the default color for this theme to black now back in the keyboard row let's create a variable which represents the key color so I've type color key color and I'll set this to white to start off with then down here if it is not correct contains or incorrect let's set it to black and I'll set it to black by using the theme of text theme body text to color the reason I'm using the color in the text theme is because we'll have two different text themes we'll have a light theme and a dark theme so when we do the dark theme we will have a different value here so therefore this can update automatically depending on what theme we're running in now we have a null error so I need to put a null operator there 
and then also this can return null so to avoid that I'll write two question marks and give it a default color and I'll just give this a default color which will remove this null error here so these two question marks say if this returns null so if this is null then this will return but if this is not null then this color will return to this variable okay now we have this key color we can now apply this to our text so here's our text down here I can write style and now I can copy the existing theme we have theme of context dot text theme body text 2 and use the copy with method we just amend this existing theme and the color can be set to the key color and I need to put the null operator there so now let's test that cool okay so a hot reload and we can see now the text of these letters are white and when they're not tapped they are black let's update the colors on the grid tiles applying the same logic I'll go to tile so here I'll create a variable that represents the font color so color font color and we'll set this to white by default then here we can write else so if it's not correct contains incorrect then the font color can be set to theme of text theme body text 2 which is our default text color and add in the null operator there and then we'll give this a default value in case that is null cool so now this font color will be white but if it hasn't yet been set to correct contains incorrect then it will be whatever color is in our text theme and then down here we can write style text style copy with color and then pass in font color and now let's hot reload and cool we have our font color is white now let's type in a new row and that is black cool and that turns white when we press enter okay awesome so we have our colors working really well having another look at wordle we can see the border color is a light gray and we can see when the color of a grid tile updates the border disappears so let's also update that in the project I'm first going to go to our grid and remove our border here so I'll remove this container cool and now back into our tile I'll create another variable that's named border color and I'll initialize this to transparent and in this init state I'm going to set border color equal to our theme primary color light and because we're using the context with the theme of we need to wrap this in a widgets binding instance add post frame callback so we have an instance of a build context and I'll put a question mark here to remove that error okay so now when this runs our border color will be set to primary color light now if the tile is correct contains or incorrect we want to remove the border so we can do that by going border color and setting that to transparent which essentially just removes the border so in all these places I am just writing transparent now down here in the container I'll remove this color here and instead we'll decorate this with a box decoration and the reason I've removed the color is we can't have the color in the container and in the box decoration so I'll set the color as the background color and now I can set the border color so I'll go border all and in here I can set the color so we'll pass in the border color cool so hot reload now we need to have the border showing where we haven't answered a grid so instead of a size box I'll return a container I'll remove that const and we can just copy in this box decoration here okay and now let's hot restart okay cool so we have our border a gray color that we set in the theme and now let's type in a word press enter okay awesome and the border disappears when we press enter in the next video 
We'll also set up a dark theme for the app. 